This is VORW Radio International. That first song was a music request from Christina, Cheek to Cheek by Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett, recorded in the year 2014. I thought that was an incredible collaboration because I think everyone associates Lady Gaga with you know, more, more pop music than anything else. But I think it's a sign, regardless of your, your thoughts on Lady Gaga, I, I personally think that it's a sign of a you know, really talented musical artist to be able to just go from one genre to the other flawlessly and do an excellent job at it. You know, not everyone can do pop and then all of a sudden do jazz just as well. So, an amazing song. I really liked it. And I, I hadn't heard that song ever before, so thank you for bringing that song up. Great, great piece. That second song was a request from Jason in England. Meet Me in the Woods by Lord Huron. That song was released in the year 2015. Thank you, Jason. I actually discovered Lord Huron. Uh, back when Hurricane Irma hit, of all things, I was scanning around on my radio before things got bad. I heard a station, they were playing his song, uh, Hurricane, and from there I delved into his repertoire, and, uh, oh yeah, great artist right there, he's got a lot of good stuff. And he had a question, he said, could you briefly talk about your experience in high school? Well, I could go on and on and on about, about that. I could tell one thing after the other. But because of the time limit, I'll give you my answer in an epigrammatic style. It was okay. It had its ups. It had its downs. I think when everyone is going through high school, you haven't figured everything out yet. And, you know, you, 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 you do stupid things. You think stupid things that you look back upon um, with complete distaste and disdain for yourself. But... The past is the past, the present is important. You can't change the past, you can still change the future. You know, you'll always have your regrets, you'll always have your, you know, things that you'll say, well, I wish I could have done this, I wish I could have done that, but in short, I wasn't shoved in a locker or anything like that. I made it out in one piece, and here we are in 2018, so I think that kind of speaks for itself. Now, if you're listening to this broadcast right now, your questions, comments, reception reports, and music requests are very welcome. It's the only way I have of really finding out if you're listening to this broadcast. And listener feedback, correspondence, analytics are all very welcome and extremely important uh, to this broadcast and its continuity. Also, reception reports of the shortwave signals really appreciated, too. Great to see where you're listening from, how reception is. Send me an email, V-O-R-W-I-N-F-O at gmail.com. You can write in as often or as seldom as you'd like, and you can also keep your letters as long or as short as you would like as well. It's just important that we hear from you and get a few comments and feedback and some reports and some music requests for the show. If you write in, I'll try my best to shout you out on the air. Uh, a listener in Santiago, Chile, uh, she had a music request for this show. And I gave it a listen, and unfortunately I just couldn't play it on the air because of the profanity, but I mean, it's an amazing song. I thought this was awesome, and I really, really recommend you all check it out. It's called From Under the Liquid Glass by Peace. Again, that song is called From Under the Liquid Glass by Peace. Uh, it's some alternative indie rock from 2017. Uh, it deals with mental health, something that I always am an advocate for. And uh, it's a song I would really recommend you all check out. Again, I couldn't play it, but it's a song, a great tune. I, if, you have the, if you have the time, I recommend checking it out. Anyway, on to some shout-outs. Michael in St. Paul, Minnesota. He's a regular listener. He tuned in on 5850 kHz shortwave, and he said, Excellent reception. It's a keyboard for those of us in the frozen north. Absolutely. Hope you're all staying warm for those of you up north. I know this Thursday there might be a blizzard impact in the northeast. Everyone's tuned in there. Uh, stay safe and stay warm for me. Thank you for writing in, Michael. Brandon in Vicksburg, Mississippi. He said he's tuned in on 7490 shortwave, clear signal, so thank you, Brandon. Uh, staying in the south, now we're we'll actually going over to the southwest. Jim in San Antonio, Texas, listening on 5850 kHz on his 1953 Helicrafters radio. Thanks for the report, Jim. Up over to Toronto, Canada, Lisa, a SoundCloud listener, wrote in. She said she enjoyed the program and is going to try to obtain a shortwave radio to listen in on, so thank you, Lisa. If you get a radio, always interested in hearing how the signal is coming in. Mike in Detroit, a regular listener there. 
Line and clear reception on 5850. All other frequencies are static. Absolutely great to hear. 5850 is doing such an amazing job covering North America. It, it, it couldn't be better. It really, truly couldn't be better. So, really huge thanks to WRMI there. Your frequency of 5850 is, is really getting out there. Uh, over to Tupelo, Mississippi. Zola, she said that she also heard a loud and clear signal on 5850. Very happy to hear your show, and she said not much luck with reception otherwise. She said she enjoyed hearing the song Long December by Counting Crows in last week's broadcast. Thank you for your report. Charlie in Oklahoma, he said I enjoy your show and the YouTube reviews. He said he's interested in getting a shortwave radio for his storm shelter. It would be a nice addition for that, and also to hear the broadcast on, so thank you, Charlie. As I said before, if you're interested in obtaining a shortwave radio to listen to the broadcast on, I'll be happy to recommend you a model. Email me, V-O-R-W-I-N-F-O, gmail.com. And Alex in Westcote, Ontario, she listened on 5850 kHz, but could also get a signal on 7490. And she said that it blew her mind when I mentioned Brother Stair being in jail. Yes, oh, believe me, when I checked this shortwave radio group that I sometimes get some news from online, and I found out that he was in jail. I couldn't believe it, because he got arrested back, I think, in 02. I thought they were just referencing that, and I checked the news stories, and I thought, my gosh, you know, that they actually got him. They actually got him. They put him where he belonged. And wow, it's, it's just, it was, it was crazy. You're scanning around on your radio. You hear his voice so often, I mean, on so, so many frequencies. And to see that those days are just coming to an end, it's just the same, you know, same, same. But he did some very bad things, and, uh, you know, justice is being served. That's all that I have to say on that matter. Well, our next music request is a sponsored piece from James. And he said, this week I'd like to play Pretty Head by the group Transviolet. Thank you, James. It was your song.
2017. As a request from James, thank you very much, James. I always enjoy your musical selections. And that second song was run by the group Daughter. And that was a request from Kirana in Singapore, a SoundCloud listener. So thank you, Kirana. Great music request, and that's great to hear all the way from Singapore. Well, we're approaching the end of this broadcast now, so your final, your final opportunity to, uh, you know, let me know that you're out there too. And I always appreciate your thoughts, views, feedback, reception reports, music requests, and, uh, you know, send me an email, go on your short, let me know that you're listening, let me know you're tuned in on shortwave, that you're listening on SoundCloud, if you have a song you want to hear, whatever it is. You know, if you want to send me an email talking about sandwiches, uh, go for it and maybe I'll address it in the next podcast. Just to say, you know me with anything that you want, as long as you're listening, I say that one's all good. V-O-R-W-I-N-F-O at gmail.com. That's V-O-R-W-I-N-F-O at gmail.com. Once again, V-O-R-W-I-N-F-O at gmail.com. Lots more listeners that emailed in, so I'll try and give a few last shout-outs. Uh, Nick in Southgate, Michigan. He got a new shortwave radio. He picked up a signal on 7490 kilohertz in his basement with uh, an external antenna. He said, so thank you, Nick. Jim, our regular listener in South Georgia, he said, great signals on 5850, 9395, and even the valuable 55 kilohertz. Thank you, Jim. Lou, uh, also a regular listener in Doraville, Georgia. He said 5850 is really strong, uh, so strong that it sometimes overloads his receiver. Wow, that's that's incredible. I know sometimes the signals can really just be that immensely strong. I remember once I was near a local AM station and I kind of had that same type of effect where the receiver was almost buzzing because it was that strong. That's crazy. Uh, Adelaide's in Los Angeles, California, 7730 kilohertz came in with an unsurprisingly fine signal, she said. Thank you. Over to northern New York, Nora, she said that she was able to get reception on 5850 and 9395. 5850 was better of the two. Thank you. Uh, Greg in East Florida, regular listener, he said that 5850 also was quite good and might even dethrone 7490 kilohertz as his main station to hear the broadcast on. He said that he too was shocked to hear about Brother Stay when he almost fell out of his chair when he uh, heard the news on this show last week that Brother Stay was behind bars. And yeah, as I said earlier, shocking, shocking, shocking. Uh, Laura in Australia, she also mentioned about Brother Stay. She said, I'm glad that there's no Brother Stay screaming after your show. It was, it was certainly a difference in programming, I'll tell you that, to have this show end and then have old RG come on after that. And, uh, do his one-two routine. And uh, over to Illinois, Penelope, a regular listener, said that she ordered a Texan PL380 receiver to hear the show on, and she's really looking forward to tuning in on it. So, your receiver got here, and you're listening on shortwave. I hope reception is good for you, and uh, reception reports always appreciated. Well, that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're pretty much at the end of this broadcast. Uh, keep in mind, VORW Radio International is a listener-funded program. I know we had issues with uh, the European broadcast funding at uh, this time, so let's keep the broadcasts in North America on the air as they have been, as they hopefully will be. If you want to help keep this show on the air, any donations are welcome via PayPal. PayPal to repweekinterview1 at gmail.com. That's R-E-P-W-E-K. I N T E R V I E W one. That's the number one. Rep week interview one at gmail.com. You can also check us out on Patreon. That's a monthly donation service. Patreon.com slash the report of the week. It's Patreon.com slash the report of the week. And finally, if you're interested in purchasing any VORW radio international merchandise, you can find our Teespring store. Teespring.com slash stores slash the report of the week. That's teespring.com slash stores slash the report of the week. Well, if you'd like to email us one last time, or if you would like any information about, uh, you know, anything, it could be the stores, it could be frequencies, it could be PayPal info, or anything of any of that nature, email me via www.info.com. Well, we'll see you again next Thursday, ladies and gentlemen, the 11th of January. Same time, same station. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, take care. I wish you a pleasant January. Stay nice and warm, 
and uh, until next week, take care, wishing you the best. Goodbye, this is VOYW. Thank <laughs> you.